and welcome back to Ground Zero. In this clip, we are going to talk about errant cyclists who give the cycling community a very bad name. In this contribution, Stumper Law Wei Ming was concerned to see a group of cyclists riding on the extreme right lane of the road one morning. Now, the Stumper said drivers would always try to accommodate road cyclists, but questioned whether or not the cyclists really do care. Now, the reckless behaviour of road cyclists continues to be a hot topic, with Singaporeans who have been sending in photos and videos to stop every day. Now, the Stumper added that, with all these um, recent talks about accommodating cyclists on the road, it is a surprising sight to see that some cyclists um, choose to make a statement by ignoring um, traffic regulations and endangering themselves. Not to mention placing a lot of the liability on the drivers. I saw these cyclists along Holland Road this uh, one morning, cycling on the right side of the road. Lucky for them, the traffic is always slow in the morning and thus drivers were not caught by surprise. However, novice drivers will be unnerved by their behaviour, having to drive more towards the left uh, and into um, the lanes of other traffic just to accommodate them. That is actually true. Now, uh, he continued saying, one of the cyclists, the lady in red, looked inexperienced and was poorly guided by the male cyclist behind her. As a driver, I am definitely peeved by such reckless behaviour since in the event of a collision, the liability is almost always on the driver. I agree, I agree. Um, regardless of what the driver does, most of the time the driver will have to take the rap for that. And stompers like me who are enraged with close to 80% of them voting dead on the moon. Mm. Mm. Say for example, uh, Tom the Rumbler who said what the stomper should have done was to slow down, wind down his windows and tell us it is to cycle on the left. Tell them to use a little bit more of that thing they call a brain. And if the cyclist ignored, then it's too bad. At least the stomper has done his part. That's the most important thing. Yeah, well, Sweet P97 also added, Cyclists, please remind your fellow comrades to ride safely if you choose to ride on the roads. You know your life on two wheels is just too fragile. Don't blame the drivers. Do you think we really want to knock you down on purpose? Before we can look out for you, look after yourself. I totally agree because otherwise accidents like this can happen. Let's take a look. I got my eye on you. And I can't let you get away. Hey baby, whether it's now or later, I got you. You can shake me up. Now this video was contributed by Stomper Keith, who saw this unfold in front of Tampany's community club. He said, The young cyclist was obviously riding across the road when a pedestrian traffic light was red. He narrowly avoided an impact with the comfort taxi, but he hit a slow-moving motorcycle on the other side of the road. Luckily, it was not serious and everyone was safe. Definitely lucky indeed. Now, stories of errant cyclists keep streaming in. Take this next video. Well, this cyclist... Definitely brazen. No wonder the stompers are enraged. More than eighty percent of them to be, uh, more than eighty-seven percent of them, sorry, to be exact. And I'm not surprised, you know, this guy is really dry, riding dangerously. Exactly. I mean, in one uh, comment, Red Army said, uh, the cyclist from video 2, very hard to not knock him down when he's trying so hard to commit suicide. <laughs> he's just waiting for his lucky day only, which will surely come if he still continues cycling. Like Ouch. Well, you know, this kind of dangerous riding does come across as slightly suicidal if you have to ask me. Uh, duh. And another stumper, Gentle Living, spotted not one, not two, but Four irresponsible cyclists in just 30 minutes. It's just a very short time you spend, you know. I don't know how you can spot so many errant cyclists. Three minutes. Yeah, but let's find out. Well, Gentle Living wrote, um, Within 30 minutes of my drive this morning, I encountered four incidents involving cyclists making very bad decisions on the road. The first incident was a, involved the cyclist and motorbike uh, that almost collided at the traffic junction. Mm -hmm. The second one involved the cyclist who tried to cut into the path of cars while beating the traffic lights. Mm -hmm. The third one was a cyclist riding on the pavement and the fourth was a cyclist joining cars and heading towards the expressway. He, had, uh, he said, this is stressful, frustrating and dangerous for everyone, uh, motorists and pedestrians included, who are going about uh, their daily lives trying to use the roads properly. Now, uh, per stumpers like Perfect DSTK suggested one effective method to stop all these errant cyclists abusing the road is to probably implement a license plate for cyclists. 
This will definitely work as they can't get away. Since they're using the road for cars, trucks and motorbikes, it makes more sense for all cyclists using a public road to have a license tag to their bicycle. And this will make those cyclists of using the road punishable. Now I hope the TP and our government will look into this as cyclists keep claiming that they're being abused on the road in Singapore. Right. Oh, but that means uh, they will have to risk UE and all that. That's what I was about to say, you know what, if they pay road tax and all that, then cars will be cheaper and all. <laughs> Very true. When it comes to road safety, everyone has a part to play because it's not just motorists or cyclists or pedestrians at fault at any one time. I guess all of us have to be mindful and considerate of others when using the road. Exactly. <laughs> Meanwhile, stay tuned because up next, we bring you some... Horsing around from Korea to Singapore.